Hi. Um, so I'm making a little movie so everyone can see what in the world is a Glowforge. So it came <clears throat> and it's all set up. So the Glowforge machine um, operates using Bluetooth. So you do what you're going to do using a special site that Glowforge gives you uh, login information to get to. And then it speaks to the machine and actually does the laser cutting. So we're just going to show you how this works. So right now I have the website open and we're going to print this little handy dandy measuring keychain. Um, but if you notice right now, it's just all black because we don't have any material in the Glowforge. So I'm going to go out and put some material in the Glowforge. Right now, the Glowforge is outside because we don't have a really good way to ventilate it just yet. But it can be outside as long as you have a little canopy. So it's under a little canopy in the shade and the temperature is perfect today. There's no rain, there's low humidity, and it's like 70 degrees, so it's perfect conditions for us to try using it, so super excited. So I'm gonna go and show you the material. So we have this cart. Um, this is what has been recommended both by Glowforge and other people out there who got their glow forges more quickly than we did. Um, you can get them at Lowe's and, or no, excuse me, not Lowe's, Home Depot. It's a really, really nice cart. It's got locking wheels, plenty of storage, nice hard wood top. I'm really happy with the cart. But you're not here for the cart. You're here to know about this. So I'm gonna put this in. Notice it has a QR code. You leave that on your material because that is communicating um, information so the the program knows what sort of material it's cutting through so you simply put your piece of material in the Glowforge you want to sort of eyeball it and center it I think that looks fairly good and then you put your lid down then you go back to your computer You'll notice now it's sensed that I've put material into it. So <clears throat> I am actually gonna print this measuring tool. I'm gonna print another one. <clears throat> I'm gonna print it right up here. So I'm gonna just drop it there and it turns purple. And then I know I can click print. And it's scanning our material and then we're gonna go outside and you'll know when it's done scanning because the button on the machine will start flashing. And that means push me because the machine is ready to print. So we just have to wait for this button to change color. And see it? I hope you can see that it is flashing so I'm gonna go ahead and push it. It also told me on the screen, um, it will tell you how long the project takes. As you can see, I've already done a couple because it's so cool. Um, and it only takes just over four minutes. So right now, it's literally using a laser to engrave the little numbers on the measuring tool. It'll also cut later. It'll cut little uh, circular holes for measuring. It's, it's pretty cool. You have to always, if you ever get one of these, you have to make sure you watch it the whole time because you want to make sure that there's a little spark. You want to make sure it stays being just a little spark. If it looks like there's actually a flame starting in your material, you have to quickly use a washcloth. I have one damp and ready. Um, unplug the whole shabab, get your washcloth, quickly open the lid, and put out the, the I know we have a bee problem here so if the if we're if it seems wiggly I'm sorry it's a bee that's making the camera wiggle because we're scared of bees but um anyway you do 
you'll have to watch it. And I'm just going to be quiet now and you can enjoy watching this make this tool. smokier inside the machine probably because it's literally cutting now. It's cutting little the little measuring holes. And in case you're wondering, we're outside so we don't have to worry too much about ventilation. But there is a little bit of a like a wood burning smell. It's not horrible. But if you were to cut through acrylic or leather, um, you'd probably be a lot stinkier, which is why if, if you're doing it inside, you really have to vent. Some of the fumes, depending on what, what's being cut, can be dangerous for people to be breathing in. Okay, here's the funny part. Sorry. The first part was scoring, and now it's actually cutting the hole. As I said before, what's doing the cutting it is a laser. It's a carbon dioxide CO2 laser. So the print's finished. We're just going to wait for all the fans. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but we wait till everything in the machine has completely stopped in case anything might be hot um, and then we go ahead and we can take it out and we'll show you how cool it it comes out of this piece of uh, draft board you have to be careful when you take it out because this is the laser this is the laser and you don't want to touch it because it's it's fragile and you don't want to mess anything up so you gotta Kind of be careful that you um, don't bump into it or anything. That's probably the hardest part of the whole thing. Not very hard though. So then you take the board out and here's a little measuring tool and all the little pieces it cut out. And 
one there now you might think it looks good like that or you might think it looks terrible because it is singed but they put a special little covering on the wood that you can peel off if you if you don't have nails finger long fingernails like I do you can use duct tape but you just peel it off slowly and then you won't have any singeing around your work which is really nice now this is <clears throat> Our first experience, well, actually, it's our third time printing one of these, <laughs> but we've just um, set this up today, and we're already able to print these, and we're really excited to uh, do some more creative things that aren't just demo-type things, on our, to use our own skills to design things, and we're hoping, you know, to have community members who want to do this sort of stuff. It's really cool, and you're really only limited by your imagination, so... I hope to see lots of people interested in this. Bye.